Sebastian here for Comic Impact, bringing you another impactful origin. We've got Avengers on the horizon, so let's talk about it. The comic book series that started the comic book film revolution. The Men in Black. The Men in Black comics were produced in 1990 by Air Cell Comics, a company that uh, was purchased by Malibu Comics, and then Malibu Comics was purchased by Marvel Comics. The original three-issue miniseries was written by Lowell Cunningham and drawn by Sandy Carruthers, featuring J and K, two characters that you should know very well from a very popular movie in 1997. Of course, the titular characters were played by Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, but the comics, they're a little bit different. Although, K didn't change much from comic to screen adaptation. Of course, what is The Men in Black all about? Well, they police and monitor extraterrestrial and paranormal activity on the planet Earth. In fact, their organization is more of a, an evil overseer steering Earth's uh, course through history and the universe, more, than a, more so than a policing agency like in the films. Of course, their methods are a little bit tougher, too, to go along with that more gruff exterior in the comic. They use torture, they murder people, but they do still have their trusty neuralizers. They use regular guns, and of course, they don't just fight aliens in the... Uh, Original three issue mini and then series two, which came out a year later, they fought things like death cults, aliens, werewolves, vampires, cryptozoological creatures, and of course a guy who kind of looks like the vulture. And uh, I would say that this series really does resemble the X Files more than it does the final product of the films. And of course, we can't talk about these comics without talking about the movies. Men in Black premiered in 1997. I put it to you that the Men in Black is the first comic book movie that uh, truly started the generation and genre of comic book films we have today. A lot of people can look back and say, well, Chris Reeves Superman or Tim Burton Batman, but in reality, those characters have a 75 year history and they've got uh, television and film exploits that go back uh, to the early 30s. But The Men in Black, a very, very different time. In fact, a lot of people didn't really know that The Men in Black was a comic book that was uh, produced by Marvel Comics for the films. And of course, a year later in 1998, Marvel also put out Blade, I would say movie number two, that also changed the film comic book genre as we know it. And of course, they police and monitor extraterrestrial activity on the planet Earth, J, K, Z, all those great characters. They spawned three movies, animated series, any number of video games, and even Marvel Comics put out prequel tie-ins to uh, the first couple films. And of course, Looking back at the original uh, miniseries, issue number two is the one you should seek out, my friends, because that one is the one that you'll probably be the most familiar with. Even though you've never read the comics, the film, I would say, is more closely an adaptation of issue number two than any other of the series. Uh, in fact, some of the more famous scenes and dialogue come straight from uh, the Men in Black issue number two. And uh, that goes without saying that. Not only are the comics really, really fun, they're very interesting, they're very dark, and uh, if you love the Men in Black movies, or you love the X-Files, I say go check them out if you can find them. A little tough to find, you know, hitting up my comic shop, the prices, uh, you know, they, they can vary quite a bit, you may not be able to get all the issues, but if you uh, head towards the internet, I'm sure, if you did a little digging, you can find them. If you like this video and want to see more, give us a like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment down below. Hey, find us on social media. We're not too hard to find. And uh, thank you very much for watching.